Hello everyone and welcome to Songs Made Easy here at Ukulele Underground. My name is Aldrin Guerrero. I'm joined by Mr. Aaron the Voice Nakamura. Say what's up, Aaron. What's up? And by Mr. Kahai the Legend Fergan. Say what's up, Kahai. What's up? So the three of us are going to jam today. It is the end of the month. This is the last Thursday for this month, which means that we're taking all the songs that we've learned from uh, previous Thursdays and we're going to be jamming it today. A la Aloha Friday Live Jam style. And speaking of... Aloha Friday. That's going to be the first song that we're going to play. So um, if you have not watched the other videos in this series, uh, you can always check them out. I think below we have links to the previous Thursdays that we've been doing. Um, also, if you want to, uh, you know, if you want to see our, uh, you know, our chords and chord sheets and stuff that we've created for you folks, you can sign up for the newsletter below and you can get the, uh, the link to uh, to download those um, those chord sheets that we've created just for you folks. And then um, I've mentioned that you can put, you know, you can put the chord sheets on one side and the lyrics on one side. You can kind of just uh, look over and you can sing along. So it's going to be for this very reason. It's going to be for our jam session. So the first song that we're going to play is a song called Aloha Friday. And here are your chords. Okay, so let's go over them real quick. Um, and like I said, you can always watch that video again if you want to, um, you know, if you want to relearn that, if there's a, you know, chord you need to work on and stuff. Try your best, uh, follow along as best as you can. But if, you know, if you can't play it, don't worry about it. This is songs made easy. So, you know, for all of you beginners who are trying to, you know, trying to learn and, uh, and get these chords, don't worry about it. Just, you know, do the best that you can. You can always watch the other videos over and over again so that you, you know, that you get it down. This you can watch over and over again as well. I know that we're live right now, but after this, it will be uploaded on, uh, on Ukulele Underground and you can, uh, you can watch this over and over. Okay. Here we go. So our first chord is a G chord. So point, oh, sorry, C chord. <laughs> Ring finger, A string, third fret. Next up, we have a G chord, middle finger, A string, second fret, ring finger, E string, third fret, and your pointer finger on the C string, second fret. Uh, I always mention my um, my wrist position is a little bit better with this chord. If I move it towards the headstock, it gives my fingers some extra room to fit all three of my chubby little fingers on the fretboard like this. G. Kind of moving like rainbows or like arches and stuff that goes to the uh, specified notes with those specific fingers. All right. Next up, we have a D7, which you're just going to release your ring finger on the E string third fret. Pointer finger goes on the G string second. Middle finger goes on the E string second for the D7 chord. Right, so um, if you're not go coming from a G, and if you're just doing it, you know, by maybe from a C or something, that chord is pointer finger, G string second fret, middle finger, E string second fret. As I know, I mentioned, yeah, take off your ring fingers. So if you're not coming from a G, you're not taking off any ring fingers, just taking your pointer finger, G uh, G second fret, uh, middle finger, E second fret. And we have one last one. It's going to be a G7 chord. Middle finger, once again, goes on the C string, second fret. Pointer finger, E string, first fret. Ring finger, A string, second fret, like so. Same thing with my wrist. It's kind of pointed towards the uh, towards my headstock so I can have more room to fit my fingers in there. Okay, so we have all our chords. Uh, our strumming pattern is a nice simple down strum, which will be all our strumming patterns throughout all the songs that we're gonna be playing today. So I'll go this one. We're gonna start off with the chorus to this and that's gonna be our vamp or our turnaround or the uh, chorus that we're gonna play before we uh, come in with the lyrics, okay? If you want to uh, if you want to sing along with us, um, check out the lyrics. It's called Aloha Friday. It's by Kimo Kahoano. So, or just go Kimo Aloha Friday lyrics. You know? Kimo, K-I-M-O. Look it up and uh, you'll have the lyrics in front of you and you can play along with us. Okay, so here we go. The chorus starts off with C. One, two, three. Follow the chords in front of you, C. Then G, Monday. Kind of like you're doing a chorus here. And D7. G. And D7 to the verse. Here is where I sit, all cloudy and blitz, with my primo bottles lying everywhere. Got my guitar in my hand and a Wesson oil can 
under my ukulele for a chair. G7, it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. G7, I do be do, be do, be do, be do, be do, be do. G7, it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. I do be do, be do, be do, be do, be do, be do. D7 to the verse. My cousin's all here drinking up my beer. Got cakeies running everywhere. Got some poke on the side while mama's trying to hide a Miller and a Heineken beer. G7. It's Aloha Friday. No work till Monday. D7. I do be do, be do, be do, be do, be do, be do. G7. It's Aloha Friday. No work till Monday. D7. I do be do, be do, be do, be do, be do, be do. D7 again. Next verse. Kimo and the crew sucking up the brew. Polehu meat smoking on the side. All surfers are dropping by, and the high school kids are popping down Kawakawa for a ride. <laughs> D G7, it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. <laughs> I do be do, be do, be do, be do, be do, be do. G7 again, it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. D7, I do be do, be do, be do, be do, be do, be do. One more time, G7. It's it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. Here we go. I do be do be do be do be do be do be do G. And let's go back to D7 goes. I do be do 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 do. One more time, D7. Here we go. I do 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 be do be do be do be do be do. Let me see that that last one. We got <laughs> Kimo and the crew sucking up the brew. Pulehu meat smoking on the side. All surfers are dropping by, and the all surfers dropping by, and the high school kids <laughs> are popping down Kalakawa for a ride. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of tricky, like? now, yeah, because it goes all surfers are dropping by, and the high school kids are popping down Kalakawa for a ride. So it's like so the so drop in and pop in have to be <laughs> yeah similar it's it's similarly. pop it yeah <laughs> like, right now guys we're just having fun we're yeah, uh, we're jamming this, this is a jam session I like before too <laughs> you're like getting very like uh, you're doing the the <laughs> rhymes very like hard right like yeah. Kimo and the crew sucking up the brew and then you can kind of hear when you got that part it's like oh no <laughs> we're having a good fun uh, we're having good fun here all right so you guys want to play that one more time you guys want to go on to the next song uh, oh we're on the next song we're on the next yeah. song all right so the next song that we have here we have a song called escape it's hard to mess that one up two chords <laughs> lyrics wise not not a not too bad here we go yeah. here's the chords right in front of you so uh whenever you're feeling lost and stuff um, when you're like, oh, I don't know what you know what chord you know what chord is coming up next. So you can always check out my fingers, and uh, and it's actually really good because that's kind of how I learned when I was you know when I was growing up with uh, with chord recognition. You know, you see like how my uh, how my fingers are you know are, uh, are are on the fretboard. You're like, okay, well that looks like a G, so he must be in G, or you know he's playing C or D seven, and um. You know, it's always good to uh, to recognize how chords look like. I know, you know, it's kind of um, it. It should be, you know, it should go without saying, but then uh, sometimes, you know, like it's, it's really helpful, you know. Some people don't like, don't consider looking at, you know, look at my fingers or what, you know, what's, what's going on next. Or maybe even just waiting, you know, like um, if you miss one of the chords, you can just wait until the next chord comes up and you can just kind of like place your fingers over like this. And then just strum whatever, you know, whatever down strum like this. And just follow whatever chord you're comfortable with playing next. So, for example, if you're not comfortable with the G7, maybe you can just go. It's Aloha Friday. 
and just come in on that seat, right? So uh, try your best is the you know is uh, is what we tell everyone. Try your best. Play what you can. You don't have to play everything in you know. Neither do you have to play it perfectly, right? So. Uh, just try your best. Have fun, and that's the main thing. Sing along, and we're having fun. You know, we're like uh, we're cracking up over that last verse because, like, how the heck do you sing that last verse? So it's all in good I think it, it's more fun. Like here, you try <laughs> yeah. and get that. Like I was gonna, I was gonna. The main thing is we ended on so that proud. G. <laughs> yeah. So here is a song by Rupert Holmes. Uh, this is a song called Escape. All right, so Escape is two chords. It's going to be D. And then A. D, then A. So D is pointer finger on the G string, second fret, middle finger, C string, second fret, ring finger, E string, second fret. Next up, we have an A chord, middle finger, G string, second fret, pointer finger, C string, first fret. That was a little ant on my, on my hand. <laughs> okay, so once again, D. And then A. So D, pointer, middle, ring finger on the G, C, and E string. So just think about making a little, this is my shaka chord. So, you know, take your shaka, like how you would here in Hawaii, we, we say shaka, so there's a hang loose. Take those three fingers, place them on the G, C, and E strings on the second fret. So you can even see the little shaka that I have on my, you know, my hand right now. Ooh, there it is. Shakas to my bradas. <laughs> that's on the that's on the song that's coming up on next month. <laughs> I managed to sneak in a shock as to my brothers. Okay, uh, A chord, middle finger, G string, second fret, pointer finger, C string, first. There it is. So same thing, down, 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 and it's four strums each. One, two, three, four, then D. So we're just kind of switching back and forth. Here we go. I was tired of my lady We've been together too long Like a worn out recording Of a favorite song So while she lay there sleeping I read the paper in bed And in the personal columns There was this letter I read if you like piña coladas and getting caught in the rain If you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain If you like making love at midnight in the dunes of the cave Then I'm the love that you looked for, write to me and escape I didn't think about my lady I know that sounds kind of mean But me and my old lady Had fallen into the same old dull routine So I wrote to the paper To cut a personal ad And though I'm nobody's poet I thought it wasn't half bad Yes, I like piña coladas And getting caught in the rain I'm not much into health food I am into champagne very much I've got to meet you by tomorrow noon And cut through all this red tape At a bar called Cajai's Where we'll plan our escape What kind of drinks get over there? So I waited with hopes And she walked in the place I knew her smile in an instant I knew the curves of her face It was my own lovely lady And she said, ah, is you Then we laughed for a moment And I said, I never knew, never knew that you like piña coladas And getting caught in the rain And the feel of the ocean And the taste of champagne Feel like making love at midnight In the dunes of the Cape 
You're the lady I looked for Write to me and escape If you like being your coladas And getting caught in the rain If you're not into yoga If you have half a brain If you like making love at midnight In the dunes of the cave you're the lady I looked for Write to me and escape Yes, I like being your coladas And getting caught in the rain I'm not much into health food I am into champagne I've got to meet you by tomorrow noon And cut through all this red tape at a bar called Oasis Where we'll plan our escape Alright, <laughs> that, that went okay That went okay There's no uh, rhythm problems yeah. with the lyrics on that It's pretty straightforward <laughs> And then we go to Wagon Wheel <laughs> <laughs> it's <the> Same thing <laughs> <laughs> so next up is a song called Wagon Wheel where we're pretty much anticipating some rough roads. <laughs> so here are your chords for Wagon Wheel. It's right here. <laughs> there it is. So uh, we are le- we are already we already learned G words are difficult today. Um, pointer finger on the C string, second fret. Ring finger E string, third fret. Middle finger A string, second fret. Pressure, those are your notes for the G chord. Next up, we have a D chord, which we learned from the last song. But what I like to do, coming from G, I like to just take off my two fingers, pointer and middle finger, keep my ring finger, but then slide it down one fret. So E string, second fret, and form the D chord around it. Pointer finger, G string, second fret. Middle finger, C string, second fret. Remember, my, remember our shock chord? That's a shock chord right there. Not shocker, shaka, shaka chord. So from the G to the shock chord. G, I guess, is kind of a shock chord too. <laughs> shock with the G as well. <laughs> a little bit more specific though. Every yeah. chord. Yeah, is. Every chord can be a shock <laughs> chord. Your your C chord can be a shock chord. <laughs> every chord can be a shock it's, chord. It's like Oprah. You get a shock. You, you get, get a, a shock. <laughs> Everyone gets a shock. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next up is an E minor chord. It's also a shock chord. Pointer finger goes on the A string, second fret. Middle finger on the E string, third fret. And your ring finger goes on the C string, fourth fret. Now, this one's a little bit difficult for beginners. Try to uh, to arch your fingers. Some people I've seen kind of like uh, uh, straighten out their fingers. And when you straighten out your fingers like this, you're going to run into the problem of touching you know, other strings that you're not supposed to. So try to arch all three of those fingers that you're using. That's the number one problem that I've seen. Like a lot of people kind of hold it like this and because they're holding it like that. let the bridge collapse. Yeah, you let the bridge collapse. Exact, great one. Nice. That's an answer. (laughs) So make sure that that bridge, that arch is there, you know, so that you're playing all three of those notes while making, uh, making room and freeing up the space underneath it, you know, underneath your bridge. So that you can hear that A string second fret, so that you can hear that E string third fret, and that C string fourth fret, nice and clean. And of course we have C, but this one, um, you can just take your pointer finger, slide it over to the third fret on the A string from your E minor. Okay, or you can use your ring finger, whatever one you want to use, A string third fret is going to be your C chord. Okay, so we're going to go G, then D, then to E minor. Then to C, then we got G, D, and C. So all of them are going to get two strums, except for the C which uh, at the end, which is going to get four strums. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. So G, D, E minor, C, then G. out to the land of the pines I'm a thumb in my way into North Carolina starting up the road 
Pray to God I see headlights. I made it down the coast in 17 hours, picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers. I'm a hoping for Raleigh, I can see my baby tonight. Like a wagon wheel, rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. Oh, rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, mama, rock me. Running from the cold up in New I was born to be a fiddler in an old time string band My baby plays the guitar, I play a new ukulele now Oh, oh North Country winters keep a getting me down Lost my money playing poker so I had to leave town But I ain't turning back to living that old life no more So rock me mama like a wagon wheel Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. Oh, rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, mama, rock me. Whew, here we go. <laughs> Walking to the south out of Roanoke, I caught a truck. Out of Philly had a nice long talk, but he's heading west from the Cumberland Gap to Johnson City, Tennessee, and I gotta get a move on before the sun. I hear my baby calling my name, and I know she's the only one. And if I die in Raleigh, at least I will die free. I mess up the chorus there. Lyrics are fine. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. Oh, rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, mama, rock me. One time, of course. So, rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey. Like the wind and the rain Rock me, mama, like a southbound train Hey, mama, rock me I'm gonna end it on G <laughs> It's like so concerned with the lyrics That like, I went to the E minor to the C But you know what, we're having fun Songs made easy, jam session So we're just jamming out the songs that we've learned Throughout this entire month So if you, um if you want to rewatch some of these episodes again, they are on the Ukulele Underground channel over on YouTube, or you can visit ukuleleunderground.com where we have that video and many, many, many other videos helpful into learning how to play the ukulele. We have uh, breakdowns of all those, you know, all, all those songs and how to play each chord and how to transition from one chord to another cleanly, safely, efficiently, and consistently. I like that, that guy. <laughs> We have lessons for the original versions. So. Yes. So if you um you know if you feel like these are too easy for you, if you feel like you're you know um you're at a uh, playing level where like oh I can handle the real chords and the picking pattern, the real strumming pattern, you can totally do that over at ukuleleonthegroundcom as well. So we have lessons for all three of these songs. Aloha Friday we have a whiteboard request lesson on um, Darius Rucker's Wagon Wheel. We have a um, ukulele lesson and a play along over you know on our um on ukulele underground and uh, we also have escape and we have a play along for that as well in its original key which i, I believe it's also in a so it's just d and a for that mm -hmm. version as well but you can learn the, uh, yeah. the i think it has like a, a little bit more complex strumming pattern yeah the, uh... waiting too long like the worn out recording so if you want to learn the uh you know the 
the not I wouldn't say real way, but you know the, the regular Jack role Johnson of, uh, way, <laughs> the Jack <Yeah>. Johnson way <laughs> of playing these you know playing these tunes. A little Friday, Darius Rucker, um, you know, escaped by uh, Jack Johnson instead of Rupert Holmes. Um, you know, you can totally check out ukuleontheground.com. We have those lessons plus many, many, many other lessons um available there as well. So we have a little bit of time to play maybe one more song, Kahai. So let's let's pick one from our old archives. Uh, how about you pick us one, Kai? What's what's your favorite songs made easy song that, that we've done in the past that you kind of want to play again? Well, uh, I'll, I'll, there's I was reading the comments right uh-huh. now on the live feed, and somebody asked for Beatles songs, so Ooh. we did do come together. I don't know. Mm-hmm. If that, it, yeah, can we try that. Yeah, so come together. Here are your chords. So we'll end it on this one. First chord is a D minor chord. Middle finger, G string, second fret, ring finger, C string, second fret, corner finger, E string, first fret. Here come old blacktop feet, come moving up slowly, feet come rolling in the blue. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize. <laughs> something, something. This is the, the Songs Made Easy jam with kind of weird lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, next up. Is an A chord, so from your D minor, you're gonna go to your A, which you just keep your middle finger there, but you let go of your ring and your pointer finger, and then pointer finger goes in the C string first fret like this. So from D minor, that is how I go from here to here. So middle finger G string second fret, pointer finger C string first fret, and then we have a G seven chord, which is just taking that whole thing right there, that A chord, and moving it down one string. So that your corner finger is on the E string first fret, middle finger is on the C string second fret, and next you're gonna add your ring finger on the A string second fret. Okay. Next up, we have a B minor seven. You're gonna take your pointer finger and you're going to bar the second fret. I know some people are afraid of barring the chord, but all you're doing is just laying your pointer finger and making sure all four strings are covered. You can support it with your thumb if you want, but really uh, the amount of pressure that you need is just enough pressure to take your ukulele uh, from here and, and then to here like this. So if you uh, want more explanation on that, you can check out the full lesson for Come Together on Songs Made Easy and uh, and learn this, uh, you know, this B minor seven and more comfortable ways to hold bar chords, okay? And those are the chords that we're going to be using. We're going to be doing another down strum. So here come on, flat top, he come. That's our little rhythm there. Here we go. One, two, three. Follow the chords on the screen. Here come on, flat top, he come. Grooving up slowly, he got juju, I bought, he won. Holy roller, he got <laughs> down to. Mojo filter he 
said one and one and one is three got to be good looking cause he's so hard to see come together right now over me Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Songs Made Easy. Next week, we are starting a whole new month, so we'll have whole new songs for you folks to learn next month. And same thing, we have a jam session at the end of the month. If you guys want to learn how to play the ukulele, please check out ukuleleunderground.com. And while you're there, sign up for UU Plus to take your ukulele playing to the next level. What's at UU Plus, you ask? We have many, many, many more lessons. We have improvement systems. We have... Um, one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have private lessons. That's all included in your membership. We have Ukulele Underground University. We have other teachers there as well doing other seminars. Uh, we have, uh, I already said Ukulele Underground University, <laughs> but we have um, a bunch of other stuff. We have uh, Solo Secrets Revealed. We have practice sessions. So many good things over on ukuleleunderground.com and Ukulele Underground Plus. So make sure you check it out. Take your ukulele playing to the next level. Here we go, come together. Come together right now over me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to Songs Made Easy. We'll see you folks next time. Have a great one. And for you, you UU Plus subscribers, uh, stick around for one-on-one -on -one coaching. We're going to do that right after this at the 3 o'clock hour. Have a great one. It's Aldrin Guerrero, joined by Aaron Alcamora, Kahai Fergan. Aloha. <laughs>